Hey, it's Allison from Computers.Mom. Today I'm going to show you how to get tech help from a friend remotely using TeamViewer. We all have problems with our computers from time to time, and if you're lucky enough to have someone who's able and willing to help you, they don't have to come over. There are a bunch of ways to let them access and control your computer remotely that are safe and easy. Our favorite is an app called TeamViewer. TeamViewer is free for personal use, and it's really easy to use. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use it if you have it on your computer already. In the next video, I'll show you how to get it if you don't have it. If you already have TeamViewer installed on your computer, you may have an icon you can start it with, either in the taskbar down here, where you click once, or on the desktop here, where you double click to start the program. If you don't see an icon like that anywhere on the screen, click the Start button in the lower left-hand corner, this little grid, and then on your keyboard, start typing the word Team. The computer now shows you everything that has the word team in it on your computer, including this app. So when I click on that app in the list, TeamViewer will start. If you're not finding it, use the link above to see our video about how to get TeamViewer onto your computer. Now I've taken away the background to make this a little bit easier to see. In the TeamViewer window that shows up, you'll know you're ready to go because you'll see a green dot and the words ready to connect at the bottom here. Your partner starts TeamViewer in their end, and then all you have to do is give them your ID, which is a string of numbers, and the password, which can either be just numbers or numbers and letters. Your partner types that information into TeamViewer in their end, and you'll see the green dot turn yellow as they are connecting, and then the window disappears, and you get this little window in the bottom that shows they are in. In other words, they can now see and control your computer. The computer can only listen to you or your partner one at a time, so be sure to coordinate with the person you're talking to as to who is in charge. Now I'm just watching while the other person is starting programs and closing programs. When we're done, bring TeamViewer back up and close the window to stop the session. You'll get this little window pop up, just say OK, and it goes away. That's all there is to it. If you forget to close TeamViewer and you get the message that it's still running, you can just right-click on its icon down here in the system tray and then choose Exit and it'll stop. Thanks for watching and please click like if you found this video helpful.